Good morning, good morning, and welcome, welcome to this uh, channel uh, this morning. Uh, it's a beautiful morning, as always, and I hope you all um, are praying for some guidance and some wisdom, and I pray for it myself because I'm bringing it to you. <laughs> so anyway, I... Uh, uh, I'm going to pick a card from self-care first. And before I do the reading, I already channeled and I'm going to do whatever I can. Oh, awareness. You got awareness was the self-care uh, card. Um, it's uh, the practice present moment awareness. The meaning you yearn for lives in the ever-present now, you know? So this is really beautiful. I really love this. Whatever it means to you, awareness sometimes, uh, just sitting quietly and listening to what is going on, you know? You don't need to dig too much. You don't need to go nowhere. You don't need to just be aware of what is going on with you on the inside. That is, that's that's important. So yesterday I did uh, um, Aries and Taurus. Today we're doing Gemini and I'll see how much I can go with the reading, how far I can go. Uh, but by the end of the week, I should have all of them. In the bottom of the cup, in the bottom of the cup, I see, uh, I see you. Um, it, it's so interesting. It's like a, 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 a um, you know, when they say the eye of the storm. When you used to get hurricanes in here, we used to. Uh, they used to say the, uh, we are right in the middle of the eye of the storm. That means we were safe, you know. And I feel like you went through quite a few things. Okay. 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 You went through quite a few things lately and uh, uh, the past, you know. So it was really uh, not sure what you're doing. It's too much going on. But I have to tell you, even in the in the moment of darkness, and even in the moment of of uh, uh, an, an, an unknown unknown moment, not sure of what is going to happen, what what is going on, you are you were uh, right in the middle of the storm. Uh, you have dolphins. I mean, this is really I don't know who it showed up yesterday for, or if it was a reading I was doing. But you have dolphins in the bottom of the cup. Even you are in the midst, in the eye of the storm, you had dolphins. And I would suggest that you uh, uh, pick up on dolphin and uh, look it up, Google it, and and ask what that, what's animal, uh, the, uh, the spirit animal uh, dolphin is. And... Uh, uh, look it up but at the same time you were surrounded with so many people too so whatever you were going through whatever you were doing you weren't alone it was too many people around you but uh, uh, apparently you managed to get yourself and keep yourself in the eye of the storm uh, uh, but uh, eventually you have this this uh, tulip that uh, uh, popping out in the midst of all this chaos uh, some things some things uh, sometimes uh, light come from darkness you guys sometimes it's a beautiful to know uh, that when we go through these hard times we're not sure what we what's going on just to realize and recognize that there is there is a light that's gonna show up, and it all depends on how we think. You know, all of it go back to us uh, because the way we think is is how how fast we are going to overcome the challenges in our life. So this uh, this uh, tulip is right there, and 
and you are crossing over. The tulip is right between your legs. I think it is something uh, with your root chakra, something that you had to let go of, something you had to talk about, something came up that you remembered. And it is all uh, healing because uh, we go through uh, trials in life and it leaves deep wounds and these wounds uh, show up, show up, bring a pain. And we think we 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 healed it, but we really didn't heal it. We really we healed enough, but the trauma of it come back, show up again. Uh, 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 there is a lesson in there to learn, but you're crossing over it. So I'm feeling that you talked about something, something showed up in your life, and you 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 looked at this, and this is this awareness card. Maybe this is. This is something you need to think about, you know? This is something to think about, awareness. Uh, a practice, present moment, awareness. What is happening? What happened that made you feel better? What happened that made you take that step and cross over? You need to be, um, you need to be really more aware of, of how you how you overcoming things because next time it will become easier. So it has been a struggle though. It has been very overwhelmed feeling or, or maybe you're just so busy that you're not taking that time to sit down and, and uh, be in the moment. Um, you have, uh, uh, it's like you're riding this trip with so many people, but all those people have, um, uh, they, they have similar things. You all have similar, it could be work, it could be family. I don't know what is it, but you're not alone. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people all together uh, that you share in this, or maybe you're doing something with them. I don't know, but uh, th there is a, a, a little blob uh, of darkness over all of your head. It's like you sharing, maybe you 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 going through the same issue. You sharing your feelings, your emotions, but all of a sudden it's like, oh boy, all this darkness it is going to fade off. Um, uh, I'm not sure how, but during from those people, all those people that you surrounded with, there is one person you are going to communicate with. This person comes from different paths of life, and you are uh, uh, you are from one side and that person from the other. The beautiful part about this is both of you, uh, both of you, uh, standing straight. Both of you standing straight. Uh, and 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 talking. This is one, two, three. It could be three hours, three days, three three weeks, three months. But uh, you you facing each other, which is really beautiful. And I feel like you're making a change for the future. You're creating something. You you uh, working on something that is more uh, powerful. You know uh, that's gonna. Is maybe you're working on something that's gonna take require a lot of energy out of you, but at the same time, I feel like you are uh, you are uh, 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 preparing for something in the future, you know, because it is gonna be good. There is one person that you are facing, and that person, whoever it is, 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 is standing straight with you, you know? So everything that you did, everything that you accomplished, everything that you're going through, everything you're preparing, I think it is it is time uh, something new is going to show up. And this is going to be the energy is, is for... Uh, it is not for right this moment. This is we're talking about April. So what is it? that you need to pay attention to. So anyway, I, I took a, a crystal angel cards and a chariot. Uh, it's a spiritual protection. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. So I think 
I think let's read more into this um, because sometimes 37. Sometimes we need the little reassurance. Sometimes we need, uh, sometimes we know enough, but uh, it's too much info in the brain. And sometimes we need a reminder. And these cards are a reminder, you know. This card is reassurance that you are protected and that your prayers have been heard and answered. Perhaps you have been feeling vulnerable lately or have been attacked verbally, physically, or uh, or, or physically, oh, psychically or physically. Wow, this is interesting, huh? So all this chaotic moments in the cup, you know, all this chaos in the cup, it's like, wow, it's too dark, you guys. Look, look how dark it is. Uh it is, it's probably you've been attacked psychically, physically, verbally, you know, uh, mentally, emotionally. So you were vulnerable. It appeared that someone is a challenge in you. And God and your guardian angels want you to know that they are watching over you and your loved ones. So, you know, my friends, you know how I told you in the bottom of the cup, you're going through this dark emotion. It's like you are in the, in the hurricane but you are in the eye of the hurricane. Even things are going crazy, but you are protected. You are in the eye of the hurricane. And you have a three dolphins. Look it up. This is the key. Look it up because you have messages through that. I didn't see no other animal to in here, but you have messages. And I want you to look it up because it is very, it is very beautiful to really... Uh, be in awareness of what is going on and to know that you're not alone. You're not alone. Okay? So have a beautiful month and I am sure things are going to work out. They always work out. And we're never alone. We're never alone. When you feel alone, ask your guides. Ask your guides. I go sit outside on my pool I look up in the dark, the night, you know, in the night up in the sky, and I talk to, to, to God, I talk to the moon, I talk to the stars, and I ask, or my guides, and I ask. If I am confused, I ask for guidance. And you know what? It just show up. I love it. I love it. Things show up if you just ask. Okay, you guys, have a beautiful month. 